Hey everyone, today's video is going to be on decades old pesticides and weed killers. A lot of these I found in the garage. They are pretty old. They were my grandparents from many years ago. I'm making this video just to show the containers that they had back then. I'm going to show what the containers say for anyone who's interested in that stuff. I'm going to show up close and you can pause and read it if you choose to. Some of these containers I have bought at estate sales just for the purpose of having something that old because the container is considered vintage and they don't make it anymore. First I'm going to start off with this empty container here that I picked up at an estate sale. It is a chemical called Chlordane. This uh, chemical a few uh, years back um, they actually banned this because it's cancer causing and it'll seep into people's wells for people who live out in the country. This stuff you would sprinkle it around the property and it killed bugs. It also is known to stay in the environment for 30 plus years. Let's show the back here. For ants and lawn insects, chlordane dust. Here's the precautions. You do not inhale this. I believe there was also a, a liquid kind you used to be able to buy. But that's pretty much all this container says. There's absolutely nothing on the bottom of it, and the top doesn't say anything else either. There's no date on this, but I estimate this is probably 70s. I'm going to put that off to the side. Next container I have is called Seven. Seven, they do still make. I buy this all the time in the summer to control gypsy moths. Oh, and it actually says that right there, gypsy moths, because there's a pretty bad problem with that in New England. Environmental hazards. Here's your directions for use. Okay. I'm not seeing any kind of date here, but you see it is new enough to have the recycling triangle. Okay, next was purchased from a store called A.W. Brown. There's your active ingredients, inert ingredients. This is for fruit trees and berries. So this is for edible foods. And this here most likely got wet. I'm not seeing any kind of data on this either. Yeah, that is a liquid. Okay, the next thing here I know has a date on it. Somewhere there is a date on this. Okay, there it is, 1974. See that? Okay. This is called Scott's. Scott's is a company. They are still in business. I use their fertilizer in the summertime. You see what this stuff controls. It has pictures of the pests. This is kind of a rusty container, so it's obvious that it is old. There's a whole list of everything it controls. 
Let's get a quick look at the back of this. Okay, the next thing I have here, that company I know is still in business too. I've seen their stuff in the hardware store. Can I see a date on there? This one is probably the newest container I'm going to be showing from 1994. Crabgrass killer. You have your little booklet here, it opens up. Okay, um, the next container I have is also from that company too, but obviously it's much older. Just look at the glass bottle design. How old is this one? Now, this one here actually is not too much older. This is 1998. And that sold for $1.98 back in the day. Okay, the next one it's called Twin Light. I have never heard of that company. This was either bought at a, some family owned store, that's probably why it's written on there by hand. Okay, the next one is also another ortho product which sold for four dollars eighty seven cents let's get a quick look at the back of this thing made in the USA it's not saying a year a lot of chemicals like this for your yard they take a really long time to expire but I wouldn't trust these anymore because of their advanced age. This is called boric acid. You can still buy boric acid. I just saw this, I think it was at Home Depot the other day. Boric acid, you mix into something and animals take it with them, it's like such as you can feed it to ants and they bring it back to the nest and it kills the queen. Then the whole colony's gone. And now this stuff is called dandelion killer. Wow, this container, the camera really doesn't like focusing on this that awkward color it's really fluorescent so I'm just gonna read what it is it kills dandelions it's pretty much all it is when we try opening this up so it's a little tough to get off pretty much there are these tablets it looks like a a really thick Necco wafer that's what they are and uh, directions apply to young dandelions drop one cartridge cap it dissolves into water okay so you dissolve these into water and you use a sprayer on your lawn okay the next product I have here is called black leaf I've never heard of that company either so this product here it looks like this when you apply this So this, what I think this is, I don't think it fights with chemicals. I think it makes something like fungus grow on them. This next thing is, is for roses. This is not like the other products. This actually helps it start growing. This is not a pesticide. This is called dried blood. It helps flowers grow because blood is actually very rich in nutrients. Here, directions for use use on lawns, gardens, shrubs. So I guess you just sprinkle it on the ground and it rains in. The next thing I have here is called mole knots kills moles in their holes. I've never heard of them before.
these days a lot of people choose not to kill the mole. These days a lot of people just kill the grubs and when the moles don't have food they leave. Okay, the next thing is rat and roach paste. And yes, they do still make rat poison, but they probably make it differently these days. Is there any ingredients on this thing? There's your instructions. really not seeing any ingredients, I'm just seeing on how to use it. It says to use sliced potatoes as bait. Okay. Now this bin I have here, I think are really old. Green Tox. It says Green Tox. Garden Spray. So this is a concentrate that you mix into your sprayer. Again, I'm not seeing a date on there. Maybe it's in the part that's missing. This is all faded so badly, can't even make out what that says. Okay, the next container here is really badly rusted. This thing here has got to be very old. And stuff like this, I'm afraid to clean the labels off because I think it'll wreck it, because this label, it's not plastic or anything, it's just a piece of paper that could easily get water damage. And this is all it really says. There's no other part of the label. Actually, it looks like there was one, but it fell off. This, I don't know what that is. That label fell off of that one. The label fell off of this one, too. It looks like maple syrup. Now this is more weed killers. And the tablets in there, you see what they look like? They look like thick NECA wafers. I believe those are kind of the same thing as this. Next I have rose and flower dust. So I think this is probably going to be just like this stuff here called the 7. Yes, they do still make this. A variation of it. I'm not sure about the company. Okay, so you have the big part here that you can take off and you can dump it out. Or this part you unscrew and you squeeze the entire container making dust come out of this onto your flowers and that protects them. Now personally I use this stuff all the time. The newer variation of it. Not this old one. It's a chemical. It's probably still good but I just buy a new one because this has a vintage value to it. This stuff I actually use on roses a lot and uh, I use it on uh, tiger lilies because I have these small red beetles that just destroy them. And they usually come out around this time of year when it starts getting warmer out. Let me try to focus in on all this table stuff. The writing is really small on this container.
Okay, the next product I'm going to be moving on to, and actually this is the last product I have with me for this video. This is a super heavy container because it's almost full. It's called Bug Out. They make a lot of things that are still available in stores that are like this. Pretty much what this is, you sprinkle it around your foundation or you can sprinkle it anywhere in your yard and it kills a lot of insects. It kills many different insects. But on the front of it you see you have your most common things you don't want on your property such as ants, spiders, fleas, ticks, earwigs, beetles. Here you got the back of this thing. I noticed unlike food, most chemicals they just don't have dates on them. And also chemicals, they are very hard to research them. As I tried typing in a bunch of the numbers from these, in including the barcode number, and I just can't find them. I scanned a few of the barcodes, and it just comes up with the newer version of it, if that company's still in business. This container I'm holding now probably isn't that old. Probably the 90s, I'm thinking. Okay. In this container you see you hold it here and it says you sprinkle it along the ground. I'm wondering, is there a screen in here somewhere? Yeah, here it is. You walk along the ground and you sprinkle it. And let me open this up so you can see what it looks like. I also want to fix the top of this because, yeah, it was kind of falling off. I just, I'm going to get a dustpan and just sweep this up. Just, it looks like any other fertilizer, but thanks for watching. I hope everyone found this video interesting. And I hope to make more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching.